welcome to Epcot everyone and it is cold today it is not warm and I don't know if you can hear in my throat I am a little bit sick I woke up this morning with uh, swollen tonsils so that's fun especially when it's gonna pour with rain all day um, yeah this weekend the weather's not supposed to be amazing so just today and tomorrow it's only two days out of the holidays so it's not the worst thing in the world we have an umbrella I don't have a jacket um, yeah you can't hear me over these buses we are heading on test track first because that one's semi outside so we're trying to get that done before it starts pouring with rain. I still remember when I was eight and you freaked me out so much in this queue that I wouldn't go on it. But at the end of the holiday, you did go on it. Yeah. Which was cool. I think a lot of people have had the same idea, but we do have a Guardians boarding group. Yay, I'm so excited. So we're, we're group 23 for that. So we should have enough time to go on this and then go to Guardians. And Guardians is literally in the same area, but if we have more time, we might go on Moana first. We're doing single rider again because it was saying it was going to be 45 minutes. Single rider all the way. Let's go. No? We still have 10 minutes until the park opens and we're going to try and do the Moana walk through before it starts pouring with rain, but we have to find it first. goodness it's so lovely like the Moana theming is great the music's lovely but also like if you have kids and you want to teach them about like water and the water cycle and sustainability it's brilliant I loved it and the photo opportunities are great too we are now going on Soarin' really quickly because it still says it's just a 10 minute wait I hope it's not gone up because we need to be back at Guardians by 10 o'clock which is in 45 minutes so and we can't miss that because that's our virtual queue so we had a change of plan we figured that by the time we queued for Sorin, did the ride, it's quite a long ride, and then made our way back over, we might miss Guardians. And we really can't risk that because we might not get another chance to ride it like the entire holiday if we don't get a virtual queue. So we've decided just to go now. But we just met Daisy! Oh, that was lovely. And my mum, oh, there she is, found her. Okay, stop. And all the gifts worth sharing with the universe is the musical message from your parent, Chuck Berry. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. We are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. 
For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. Guardians. I'm really happy I hadn't had anything to eat before I went on it because I got hell emotion sick. Like instantaneously. I, I don't really want to spoil anything, so skip maybe like 30 seconds. My mum loved it. Like if I didn't get motion sick, I would have loved it too. Like it was a really good ride. But it instantly starts off going backwards. And if you watch the Animal Kingdom vlog, you will know that that's the reason I don't ride Expedition Everest anymore. It's because the bit that goes backwards makes me feel really sick. So yeah, from the moment the ride started, I was like, like, and I really was genuinely like, I'm gonna toss my cookies here. Like this is not good. No, like the music was good, the theming was good, like even the track was good. Like it was so smooth. It was long as well. Uh, which <laughs> I was a bit annoyed about halfway through. I was like, I need off, I need off this thing. Um, but yeah, I think so far my favorite ride is still Tron, then Rise of the Resistance, mm -hmm. then Flight of Passage, and this is last. Out of the ones I haven't done yet, this one's last, just because of the motion sickness. But anyway, we're having quick breakfast, and then we're gonna see what we're doing um, wait time wise because soaring is now up to um, over an hour. All the stuff that's indoors will need to have massive queues because it's pouring with rain now. But maybe that will encourage some people to leave the parks later on. Who knows? I love these ones, like the poison apple ears. They're so nice. A little snow white. That's like a subtle snow white. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, the runaway railway. I almost lost my ears on that yesterday. I'd like to go on that again actually. It was really good. I like this cat. I'm not really quite a good leader though. Yeah. Everyone has had the same idea to come in the shops to get out of the rain. But we have a return time now to ride Spaceship Air. We need to be back in 20 minutes, so we're just gonna do some browsing. I think this is my favourite lunch fly so far. Yeah, I think it, like out of all the ones I've seen, I think if I was going to get one, it would be this one. Because it's got all the different attractions on it. And I, th I think I would use that in everyday life. Especially in the summer. Yeah, it's a cute colour. This one's cute as well, with all the little characters on it. But yeah, I don't want, I don't want one in blue. I quite like this shirt. It's very, like, vintage. So, when I was a kid, this would have been my section. I would have been asking for every single one of these things. I love the fact that they've uh, fixed the doll faces that they now actually look like the princesses. But they are my favorite. They even have her in this little thing. That would have been, that would have been a bit of me right there. Still on the hunt for a mug. And I still think the mug that I didn't film from the hotel is winning. One of the Disney vloggers that I follow, Disney in detail, she showed it was like a little Winnie the Pooh honey bear honey pot mug. And I really want that one, but I can't remember where she saw it. So I have a week and a half to find it. I do really like this Arendelle mug. It's huge though. It's so big. But I wish they did like, I don't know if they have more been there. Like if they had more Disney locations, I would maybe get a couple. <laughs> Recording our knowledge on Cave Wall. There's only one small problem. When we have a map and
escaping the rain for a little bit in the cantina San Angel, I think it's called. Um, and we've got some food, so we're going to have some lunch. And then we're going to see what the wait times are doing before we potentially fail. <laughs> because it's, uh, it's very rainy and the wait times are very high. So I don't think there's much point in doing World Showcase on a day so rainy when we can just come back next week on a day that's sunny. Um, and then we can actually like walk around it and explore. So our plan might be changing slightly, but we're gonna eat first. So the wait times were really long. So we decided to get the bus to Disney Springs, well, to the hotel and then Disney Springs, to have a look in World of Disney. We have a gift card that we want to redeem. Technically we're going to Disney Springs tomorrow, but I'm meeting up with my friends Manda and Mimi for dinner so I don't really know if we're gonna have like we're not really gonna have time just to shop like we're there to catch up tomorrow so we're gonna go and do that we're not gonna stay long and then we'll be back to the hotel to get changed deposit the scooter and we do need to do another target run just for like I need some bananas my mum needs more Diet Coke like little things and then we might go to Chewy's for dinner now I blame my friend Malin for introducing me to Chewy's and their famous jalapeno dip because uh, me and my mum are now obsessed with it and when we went to Target the other night the first night we arrived we saw that Chewy's was right across the street from Target so I think that's going to be our plan Disney Springs Target Chewy's so we're at the hotel waiting on the bus to Disney Springs and this is the mug that I saw that I really liked it is the perfect size for the coffee that I drink. It's not too big and it's not too small. And I think it's really interesting and pretty. Like the shape is interesting. It's got something about it. I really, really like this mug. Aurora isn't my favorite princess. She's also not my least favorite. So this is the strongest contender so far. We'll see what we find at Disney Springs. All right, we have made it to Disney Springs. There's so many more shops than the last time I was here. This is, this wasn't built still the last time I was here. They had some of the newer shops, but not everything. All right, let's brave the uh, Saturday shopping crowds, shall we? They've done away with all the things that used to be at the top. Oh no, that makes me sad. Okay, well surely I will find what I'm looking for at the wall labeled mugs. Hmm, no, I don't see it. They have a lot of different ones, but uh, wow, they actually have a rescuer's mug that's no one ever sees the rescuers. There's not much merchandise with them on it. We've got some other lounge flies here. I'm still struggling to find one that I like. I did like this one, but I'm not the biggest fan of Encanto, so hmm. Ooh, they have a Scarlet Witch one. That's cute. I feel like this is the nicest spirit jersey that I've seen so far, but I just... I'm just, I don't like it enough to buy it. Why are there no like pinks or purples? There's no pink or purple to be found anywhere. Yeah, that's the one I saw in Epcot. I really mm -hmm. liked it. How much is it? 25 when you buy two. Well, I don't think I'm gonna buy two. Yeah, they didn't have this bit the last time I was here. This is all new, all these stores. Now we're not doing too much shopping here today because we're coming tomorrow. We've made it to Chewy's. Time to eat. This sauce is literally the reason why we come here. <laughs> Would you believe that this is classed as an appetizer? Like, it's the biggest plate of quesadillas in the salad. world. 
No, your salad's not an appetizer. Oh, it it's just say it's a salad though, but it is a massive salad. It's an enormous salad though. It'll take me a little bit to get through. Delicious. Dinner has been had, and now we are in Target for a proper look instead of what we did the other night, which was literally grab and go. Well, instantly there's lots of Disney stuff that's going to be hell of a lot cheaper than in the parks. Yes, I want to have a look at the books because not only are they a hell of a lot cheaper, they're also 20% off, so... Uh, uh, which ones? I saw Bride. I really want Bride. Like, I, literally, I want to read Bride instantly. I saw it. It was at the checkout last time, but it should be here as well. I feel. All right, what am I picking up for my doggy? I've gotten him some stuff from America before that he really liked, some chew sticks, so let's see. Yes, it was something along these lines, and it was like wrapped in bacon, and he loved it. Was it these? I think it was something along the lines of these, like the busy bones. Was it this? to see what's in it. Potentially. I feel like it was something like these. I feel like it wasn't this brand, but it was something like this. It was these. They've changed the packaging. They were called oinkies. It was these. Paul will kill me if I don't come home with a new toy for him. And I don't know if anyone recognizes this. This is the one that Paul got in Target in Texas. We still have it. But Whiskey's theme is sea animals, and I think I'll get in this. So I got these in Texas and became obsessed. They're semi-sweet chocolate chips. I have no idea what that even means, semi-sweet, honestly. But they're so good. I bought cookie mix from the Albert Hein and I mixed these in. Delicious. Can someone tell me if we can get this in the Netherlands because I really want to get some. The last copy is mine. 